Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. I'm a plant enthusiast and I love all things green. For today, I will be do some, doing something pretty fun. We are going to be doing some plant chores. Um, I have a list of planty to-dos that I need to get done and that I have postponed for far too long. So it's about time that we do it. Okay, so this is my list. First thing on the list that we've got to do is I have to move my golden pothos from a hanging macrame hanger to my new plant shelf. So we'll go ahead and get that one done. So I did, I put this plant here with the intention of it hanging and looking beautiful, but it's not very happy. I just don't think it likes, there's a vent right below here. I don't think it likes that very much. Um, and then it's hard, it's hard to water hanging plants, so it's just easier for it to live somewhere else. I have a good spot for it, so we just, it's going to live somewhere else. So here she is, looking like a thing of wilted lettuce. I'm going to grab my watering can, plant food. So I just bring it into my bathroom. I'm not going to show you my whole bathroom because it's a mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some fertilizer in there. So if you guys have seen on my Instagram, I used to have, or I not, I still have it, it's still there. Um, but I had a video all about how I would prepare my water and my fertilizer um, before I watered my plants. I had these like gallon jugs. And then we moved and I lost them in the move. And so now I don't have them anymore. So I've got my water, my watering can filled up. We just need to give this guy a big drink. He'll be so much happier. Now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is we're gonna organize this shelf. Um, just put my plants on it, make it look nice. So let me make sure you're in a good spot and then we will do that. So I want to have my big like hanging plants there. Um, I am going to take this guy here. So when I organize a shelf with plants on it, I typically like to start with the big ones, so the ones that take up the most space and they're big and luscious, um, and you find good spots for them, and then you fill it in with the smaller ones that just kind of, you know, fill in the spaces. Um, it's fun to mix texture and leaf color as well, but this is just a great place to start. This is not even really that big, but got some cuttings there. And then I have one more. So clearly I need to get some more plants. <laughs> um, I forgot about these ones behind the camera though. There we go. <laughs> I like it. So the next item on our list is to put together um, my pegboards that I got. I actually bought these secondhand from someone on Facebook Marketplace and now I'm just going to put them up in my cabinet and then I'm going to put the other one, if it'll fit, we'll see, <laughs> um, in my, what you call it, <laughs> in my Mills Botal cabinet. Step one is to take out all of the plants. I don't want to risk any of them getting damaged, especially because most of them have new growth on the way. It's just, you know, that time of year where growth is just happening everywhere. I don't know if you guys do this, but I always have towels by my plant. I feel like my plants are constantly dripping water everywhere. You know, there's always some kind of a problem. So it's just nice to have a, a handy plant dedicated towel. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be making a reel out of this as well. So I'm just gonna unscrew them. I, <laughs> I don't think this one's gonna fit like I thought it would. We're gonna try it anyways. We're just gonna pull the plants out, see what happens. Um, but to me, it does not look like it's gonna fit. That clearly does not fit. <laughs> no! I do want to show off though, look at the roots of my, uh, my Monstera Tide Constellation. Look how good they are. This guy is truly bouncing back and I couldn't be prouder. My other one actually even has secondary roots growing on it. So that's quite the comeback. Okay. 
so the next item on our list to do is to pot up my new Queen Anthurium, but it actually came to me already potted up. I did just tear this leaf. I feel so bad. <laughs> Um, but it already came potted up to me, so I am just going to spray it down with some neem oil just to be safe um, before I put it in my cabinet. One of the very last things that we've got to do on um, our to-do list today is to check on my birthday plant. This is a plant that I bought from a Facebook seller for myself for my birthday. Um, and unfortunately it came to me with root rot. So I have been treating it like crazy, <laughs> trying to get it to survive. Um, so today we're just gonna check on its roots. Hopefully everything looks good. <laughs> ah, can you hear the disappointment in my voice? We do not have any new root growth here, unfortunately. That's rotted. That's rotted too. Ugh. It's such a beautiful plant too. Like it truly just breaks my heart that this is happening. And it stinks. It has the root rot stink. Blech. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is, um, how, this is how I always treat my plant. Um, and it seems to work, it just takes a while and you just have to be patient, especially with the rot being as severe as it is for this plant. Um, it's just a matter of patience, you know. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off all of the rotted parts of these roots. That's what you want to hear, that clicking sound, because that means that you've hit healthy root and not unhealthy roots. It means they're not squishy. So it's very sad, as you can tell. Unfortunately, we're just not seeing any, any growth. And all of these little aerial roots and nodes kind of look dead. But what I think I want to try as to not give up hope is I want to like put moss here and try air layering this plant just a little bit to see if we can get some kind of something from this. Okay, so I am putting it in a jar of water with some hydrogen peroxide. I normally just eyeball this a little bit and then I will let that soak. Just let the hydrogen peroxide work its magic on those little stumps of roots. Um, but I'll let it sit like this for probably about five minutes and then we'll come back to it. While my philodendron pink princess is soaking in hydrogen peroxide, I went ahead and I cleaned up um, my plant room, just picked up some things. It's been a couple minutes and I'm going to take it out and then let it dry um, and then we'll pot it back up in some moss. So I have my plant here and I'm just going to take some paper towels. Can you see that? <laughs> some paper towels and then I just take it right out and then I'm going to let it dry. So it's had some good time to soak. The hydrogen peroxide did its job. And now I just need those roots to dry and callus over before I can pot it back up. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm so worried this is not gonna make it. It probably won't. Um, but send your good vibes, please. I need them. <laughs> so I'll let it dry for probably like an hour. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys how I repot it. To start, I do not ever recommend reusing the same substrate that it was in. So I'm just gonna take my bowl and some moss. This moss already has like perlite and orchid bark in it, so that's really good. And then we will dampen it with some water, squish it. So hopefully maybe one of these nodes along the side will activate, something like that. That's my hope and my dream. There's one set of like, there's a node right there. It's all staked up and balanced. I will put this in my cabinet and then we are done for the day. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any plant chores or plant to do's that you're doing today, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I hope this was a good video that you could just throw on and we could do chores together. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I love to talk and chat plant things. Um, follow me on Instagram at lil.houseplants to get more updates on my birthday plant and more of the planty things that I'm doing. I hope you all have a great day. Bye! And end.